morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. In this Wisconsin scale is open, and they said the uh, truck must enter the way station. So, here we go. I guess we're going to be entering the way station. Let's see what lane they will give us. We've got to go on to the actual scale, eh? Wow. I wonder why they want us on the scale. I scaled this load. That was totally legal, so I don't know why they want me to come in. But Oh, well, I guess they have their reasonings. Why they want us to come on to the scale, I guess. So we'll go find out, I suppose. Everybody else is getting the bypass, it looks like. But Oh, well, it wouldn't be anything new. They want us In to spike us or whatever. Miles, keep to the left on I-39. I know, RJ, I'm trying to, but they won't let me. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, it beats me why they want me on the scale, but whatever. I guess we'll go on the scale and find out what they want, right? Just cleaning my windshield here, so that way that's nicely visible. You guys can see out of the window. But I managed to find uh, that sort of exhaust leak there yesterday and I think it blew the gasket out of the uh, out of the turbo where it's attached to the uh, manifold. Well, they pulled another one in behind me there so I guess every other truck can go by I guess. And so I tightened up the, the bolts, it's nice and tight now. And the noise is way less and less smoke and all of that than it was before, but uh, I'm still hearing some noise, so there's still obviously some blow by. Blow by. So uh, they're probably going to have to change the, uh, the gasket on it because it blew out probably, you know. So it looks like they're making everybody stop on the scale, so we'll open our window. A it's little bit, feet. so Keep to the left on I-39. In case they want to scream at us, then we can uh, hear them. They got a speaker way over there. So there we go. It says pull onto the scale. Uh, let's go ahead and go do that. And see what they will tell us, right? Let's find out. We've got the waymaster sitting in there and looking at us. Drinking up water right now, so there we go. Let's see if they're going to tell us anything. Oh, it says go ahead. All right. I guess they don't want to inspect us today, which is good. I don't need an inspection right now. I just want to go home. The less time I waste out here is the better for me. The sooner I can get to the shop, the better for me. You hear that, guys? You can still hear a little bit of a blow-by, but it's not nearly as noisy as it was yesterday, right? You hear that? Continue on this road for 42 miles. And I'm not seeing as much smoke either as I saw yesterday. I'm looking in the mirror to see how much smoke I see coming out of the exhaust pipe, eh? Yesterday it was smoking like crazy. And today that's not the case. I mean, I'm still seeing a little bit of smoke, but I've always seen that on this truck, so. And it is starting to drizzle again a little bit. It's been kind of raining all morning long, and it actually was pouring rain there just this early this morning when I woke up. And then when I got up, opened my curtains, it was actually lightning and thunder. All of that stuff going on, but yeah, we fueled her up there in La Salle and got the heck out of there. It was still dark, so here we are. We just entered Wisconsin. That's it. Anyways, we appreciate you guys tuning in today. Well, let's have a fantastic day together. I am now in Madison, Wisconsin, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, we are. And it looks like it has finally stopped uh, stopped raining. We 
We got a beautiful golf course here to the right. Saw a few posts there on Facebook there earlier. My wife had shared a couple of them and apparently we got some snow in the northern part of Manitoba today. Welcome to winter ladies and gentlemen. I just had me a little bit of a pit stop there a few minutes ago. And had me a bite to eat and all that good stuff so I had time to look at Facebook there a little bit. Look at some of them posts that people are posting. Yeah, I saw the uh, accident that I saw yesterday there on uh, on the exit ramp there uh, of 75. The ramp going on to I-70 was closed yesterday. And it looked like a big truck had rolled her over there, so... <coughs> There's a bit of a backup over there yesterday when I came through there. The actual ramp to go west was actually shut down. And uh, I had to go a little east to go make a U-turn and come back. So that was a little bit of a disaster up there, but oh well. We made it through there, right? That's all that matters. Here we are, hammer down. I'm thinking we're going to be very close, if not in Fargo tonight. That's the plan as of right now. It'll be about a full day worth of driving. We'll get down there and do our 10 hour break and go home. That's right. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here. We'll show you what we can, but wife said the other day that all the leaves have fallen off the trees at home so look at these beautiful colors here to the left here in the middle here yeah, these colors are beautiful though beautiful colors of trees that's for sure it always amazes me that they lose their leaves but the trees don't die in the winter you know that's an amazing nature that I guess the Lord created for us you know Next year they just grow right like if nothing happened, you know? That's something amazing. I never thought it could happen, but I've seen it. South America, you would never think that that could actually be possible because as soon as we get a little bit of a frost or anything like that, everything died. <laughs> so. But I guess these trees have adapted to the nature. Yeah, even the grass and everything, you know, like it survives the winter, so. But yeah, that's the way life is, eh? Wow, that Minnesota cop just crossed, crossed right over here. I don't know what his issue is or why he's in such a hurry, but he's getting in a hurry that's for sure he's definitely <laughs> got something on this mine don't know why he was doing that but hey certainly was doing something looks like we're all getting the bypass as of right now well, we'll see way station ahead we'll see what happens well in rj i know there's a way station ahead in 0.2 miles i guess to that the left cop was kind of late for getting to work he cut right across the highway there and cut right in front of me there Ed. that was a bit weird but oh uh, well i guess in that happens feet, keep to the left on i-94 go ahead and open my window yeah, they're busy in here today. That's for sure. Nobody is screaming at me, so I guess we'll continue on cruising along here. We're just about to hit Minneapolis. Continue we just crossed the border into time. Minnesota. So uh, I guess we'll continue on cruising then. We're just wanting to pull everybody in and look at everybody, I guess. That's the way it goes. Beautiful day out here today, that's for sure. 
nice and sunny again. It was cloudy earlier, but now it's nice and sunny. And the truck seems to be uh, running half decent now since I tightened up the bolts. So we're good to go. All right, guys, we have decided to make a pit stop. And we made us a few sandwiches. Yeah, look at that. We got us some uh, smoked turkey on there, some cheese and tomatoes. I want to have us some good sandwiches. Yeah, I told you guys I've been eating in the truck more and more, so. But I haven't really shown you guys too much, so I figured out yeah, today is going to be the day. So I'm hungry, so I'm going to go get me a bite to eat and then we'll get out of here. We're parked here at a rest area right now, just on the uh, west side of Indianapolis. Actually, we're in Clearwater, uh, Minnesota, so uh, to be exact. So, taking our half an hour break. I know we took one earlier, but in order to fulfill my exact 11 hours, because I only driven two and a quarter hour earlier, I had to take another half an hour. So, oh well, that's the way it is. But, anyways, let's go ahead and eat. All right, guys, it is time to leave this rest area. We spent enough time in here again. Got us a few sandwiches and use the restroom and all that good stuff. So now we are done with all of that good stuff. So time to put the hammer down again and start making our way home, sweet home, I guess. Yeah, I won't make it home tonight, but should at least be able to make it to Fargo, I would think. what I think anyways I can drive till quarter to eight and we got quarter after four right now so that means about three and a half four hours we can drive so uh, that'll put us right around Fargo area although we'll see I haven't quite decided if I'll go all the way to Fargo or if if I'll do that, or I might just stop there at exit 37 and then just get up right away first thing in the morning after my 10 hour break and just get going. I mean, it really doesn't matter if I go up to Fargo or, you know, a little bit before Fargo or a little after Fargo. It mattered when I left yesterday, so after that, it just basically it takes how long it takes to get there, you know. That's the way it is, but I don't know why that guy is flashing his lights. He's constantly flashing those lights, those headlights. Hmm, that's weird. I don't know why it does that, but he might have an idea why it does that. But anyways, we're making time, good time though. We have a little over 700 kilometers already in today, so... That's not too shabby. I'm happy with that. And here we are in the boring Minnesota. Pretty flat, nothing interesting really about Minnesota. Not too much anyway, so. So, let's go home, guys. All right, guys, we have made it to Fargo, North Dakota. Yes, indeed, we have. I'm very, very happy. Lots of parking here. Yeah, we got here about quarter after seven, so that means at uh, 5.30 tomorrow morning we can get out of here. So that is fantastic news. I'm very, very happy about that. So that means we can be in Winnipeg probably by 9.30, 10 o'clock and then uh, drop our trailer and probably be home by lunchtime. So that would be fantastic. And then uh, we'll take our tr truck over to the integrity shop there and so that way they can uh, fix some of the stuff that they screwed up, I guess you could say. And then uh, we'll see if they can get it done tomorrow. But anyways, we are done and we are not going to waste any time tonight. We're going to go to bed here very shortly and then uh, get up early so that way we can just get going here pretty early in the morning. So I appreciate you guys all watching my video today. Hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share the video. And if you're new to our channel, would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button. 
you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. So we appreciate all of you guys. We'll see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.